Thank you very much, uh, Luis Fernando. Thank you, everybody, for hosting us here. Uh, I'm Joaquin Ramirez. I'm the founder of Tecnosilva in Spain and Tecnosilva now in the US uh, with the help of, of Luis Fernando, of our friends here in Seattle. And we are a company. The, we, we have been working since 1997 trying to create tools uh, for some public, a uh, lot of public servants, public agencies that are trying to face one of the, the most widespread natural hazards in the world, which are fires. And actually, we're living in a, what we call the age of mega fires. This is a picture of the city of LA, the station fire, 2009. That's the kind of uh, problems that we try to solve with the help of the the technology, most of the technology developed in the States, uh, we're usually Microsoft-based uh, kind of tool that we do. Most of the science also is developed in the States because the fire science as opposite of the water science is a very young science. And uh, most of that science was created in the fire lab in Missoula, Montana, a few miles from here. Uh, but in the end, the, the technology and the science has to create the right tools. And these guys that face this, this type of troubles are really facing serious, serious troubles. They have to answer really very serious, serious questions in a very short time. And you, they have to have the right tool to do that. And we, we have been doing that from, for many years, uh, from 1997. That was our motto from the beginning. We were doing, uh, we have a couple of products. We're product oriented on one side. On the other side, we also do the sun consultancy. We got some recognition uh, as a best public private collaboration company in Spain by the Mundo, uh, El Mundo newspaper, and uh, some technical, uh, some technical con conferences we were awarded our products. One is called Wildfire Analyze, the other one is called Fire Response. Basically, what we try to do is to harvest uh, or take advantage of the incredible observation capabilities that we have now, uh, uh, the incredible processing and computing capabilities that the big data and the technology that we have now offer us and try to answer really these tough questions uh, to predict what the nature, when it has unleashed, uh, unleashed what, what has happened when the, when the fire or the big, blue, big floods or even earthquakes does. We try, to, we try to predict what is going to happen so people can take safer decisions and make, uh, uh, make uh, trying to, to avoid the big impact that this kind of uh, uh, situations that are more and more growing happening in the world. So in the un just to give you some figures, in the US, uh, uh, close to 3,000 homes are lost every year. This is the tendency. And it's getting, uh, getting, uh, it's getting bigger. And the agencies that are working and facing the wildfire problem in the States are, are investing every year, are spending every year $4.7 billion trying to face uh, just the suppression cost of this problem that is re really growing. This, this budget is growing, has been doubled in the last four years, uh, uh, in the last four years, and it keeps growing like that. Mainly federal agency, federal government through the US Forest Service, Department of, um, uh, uh, of Interior, some uh, agencies related to that, the, states, uh, the state agencies and the locals. And there are more than 170,000 firefighters that are facing this problem every day here in the United States. We are having big, big time now, for example, in, in Texas, and with a huge exposure to the risk because, of, uh, uh, because they are facing really, as I said, the nature at really uh, at its best. Uh, um, we began working in the States uh, three years ago. We, two years ago, actually, we won the best public website for the ESRI. ESRI is the, is the main provider on GIS, or Geographic Information Systems. So we created wifarmaps.com, which was awarded with the best public website here. So we thought, okay, well, maybe in the land of the technology, with this kind of technology, we can build good tools to, to support. And since uh, we started operations here in the States after we, with the help of, of, uh, of Luis Fernando Inigo, our friends from the state of Washington, Antonio, who is here, uh, we started the operation last year, and we were really honored to be to start our first contract with the Marine Corps, uh, the place with uh, most fires in America, more than 300 fires every year, here in Camp Pendleton, just southern between LA and San Diego. We are making their wildfire risk assessment project. It's like a close to half a million dollars project. Really impressive for us because we are a tiny company. After that, 
uh, uh, that project that is a two year, uh, one and a half years project, uh, as I said, with the, in the area with the most exposure to fire risk in America, then we were awarded by San Diego Gas and Electric, part of the Sempra Group. San Diego Gas and Electric is the company who had to pay like $1.8 billion because of the fires in, wild, in San Diego in 2007. So they were looking for a wildfire risk assessment system and in an open bid with 10, another 10 US companies, we won the bid. It was like two months ago. And we are helping them to, to prevent the impact for the power lines and show the return of investment of the huge amount of money that they invest in fuel and vegetation treatments. We're very excited about this opportunity to be awarded with this contract because it opens also for us a big market which is, uh, which is unknown. No, no other company is doing this kind of project to any other um, utility company in the state and we hope that this is gonna be the, the, a good opportunity for us. And in the third time, in this extraordinary seven months for us, we were awarded by the state of Texas uh, with their inter enterprise wildfire management system that we're using our, our product, uh, which is called Fire Response. The state of Texas, in 2011, they faced the, uh, the most incredible fire season, more than 30,000 fires in one year. Uh, it was, they faced more than 3.5, 3.9 million acres burned, 1.8 million hectares. That's four times the, the, the worst year that we have in, in Spain. And okay, more than close to 3,000 uh, 3, homes burned. So we, start, we started one year doing a, a software revelation with them last year, and then they opened a, a bid. And we were awarded with that, which is pretty awesome because it's, uh, I'm also sure that there were many, many US companies trying to provide support to this to this, uh, to the state of Texas. And on the technology side, we, we try to, okay, this is totally broken, but uh, we try to take advantage, not only on the, we, we, we do have, a, a, we do have a, a secret sauce. We, we, we try to be different from our competence, trying to integrate, basically, the predicting and modeling capabilities that we do have that's uh, nobody can nobody's doing that not close to that uh, our modeling we can model a fire in six tenths of a second and the u.s government has a supercomputing center that is trying to do that and it takes about like uh, between one hour to six hours to deliver the, the the kind of modeling that we do in in this time and of course we try to uh, to to do that uh, and deliver the information in the best possible way so for us uh, final thoughts uh, as I said, we are a really tiny company that started in Spain. We're 16 people right now. After the crisis, we, we were uh, close to 30. I think we're going to grow a lot. But the idea is that if you have a good product, look for your market. Uh, we had the, the help from the ESEX, from the, from the Spanish government for trading. They opened us, okay, the mine. I said, okay, why don't you come to the state? We can help you a little on how, uh, how to deal with that. So. So we made it, we looked for our market with a good product and definitely we found what, what, is, what, you, what you can expect uh, or what you want to expect when you spend so much passion and so much effort and so much transpiration in your work. Is that somebody that is not asking you where you come from, how big you are, if you deliver and you perform, this is a good place where you can show that. So go west. And if you are, you are lucky enough to fall into the hands of the, into, I like a lot uh, that the, the Esteban zone. <laughs> uh, Antonio from the uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor Office and Luis Fernando. Uh, this is when, when you come here, you are welcome with these friends like this. And you have, and you feel that there is a real connection between our territories. Uh, okay, then the only thing that you can do is try to perform at the same level that the opportunity that these friends open you here. So uh, do all of you that are trying to think on a place to, to open your products in the States, please think on Seattle because you are in the right, in the right place and you're going to have the biggest support. Um, that's it. Thanks. Thanks.